Hi, I'm John from Proper Printing and today I'm going to cut with a laser and um, we need four things to do that. One is this uh, laser cutter, laser module. Uh, two is the Creality CR10 printer. Three is the, the quick tool change. Without this you can't do it. And um, at last uh, the material. I have uh, a couple of uh, XPS sheets left from uh, from my apartment. It uh, is used for subflooring. Uh, when I moved out, I didn't throw it away because I had a hunch that I can uh, use this someday. For example, I've built a housing for my 3D printer, and I will show you. Okay, this is the um, the housing I've created with these uh, XPS sheets. And um, yeah, because it is, uh, it insul insulates uh, very well, so it keeps the warmth uh, inside. And uh, now I can print with uh, with nylon. And um, well, it's not by accident that this uh, door is orange, but you will find out uh, later in this video. I will make a video about that enclosure sometime soon. But first, we are going to laser cut in these uh, XPS sheets. Uh, I have a small one here it, yeah it's it's great material because it's dark i figured that it uh, should be able to to cut through with that uh, laser module one of the laser cuts i've made i've downloaded that from uh, orbrary and it's this small cube it's a bit fragile but it looks very cool this is uh, created by jeremy baumberg thanks for your design um uh, there is a link of this uh, design in the description and yeah it, it turned out great i have uh, received uh, a picture from uh, a friend and he asked if uh, i could uh, laser cut that for him uh, yes of course so he sent me this file of a butterfly there are some minor issues uh, one is that there is a watermark on top of it and second is that this isn't a vector drawing so as you can see if you zoom in then uh, it becomes uh, blurry and third if um, you cut this out then it will be separate from the rest and it must be in one piece i'm going to use uh, inkscape to um, convert it to uh, a code that the 3d printer understands so let's open it this is one of my favorite programs. If you aren't familiar with uh, Inkscape, then I definitely recommend getting familiar with it. It's free, so that's cool. We can consider this our build plate. So I will go to the properties and make this the same size as the build plate of my printer. And that's uh, 300 by 300 millimeters. Okay, um, yeah, the only problem now is that this has to be uh, connected to the rest. Edit paths by nodes. Um, these are the nodes. And you can drag them around. And I will connect this to here. So I just move the nodes. Does it look good? Symmetric. You can see these the red lines here. Um, to get rid of this object, and go to Union. Yeah, just check for these minor flaws because it will try to cut this out and uh, that doesn't work. And you can just delete these nodes. To create a, a G code, uh, you can use a plugin, the JTAG Photonics Laser Tool. Um, these settings, uh, I didn't come up with them uh, myself. I found uh, a blog post made by, by John Beeler. He uh, describes how to uh, use uh, the laser etcher on a CR10 3D printer. If I scroll further down, you can see here these uh, the settings for the JTAG Photonics laser tool. Uh, and it says the laser on and off command are 106 and 107 is just enabling and disabling the uh, the fan 
um, with the power of 255 and that's just to the max. So I will use these, uh, these settings. Don't uh, hit that live preview button. I don't know why, but he um, says it right here. Uh, I haven't tried it, but I, I believe him. Press the apply button and let the tool do his work. Oh, there it is. Don't hit the apply button again, just close it. And now your G code is created. Let's move on to the printer. Be sure you have some safety uh, goggles on. To get the focus point correct, I'll uh, place a piece of paper uh, under the laser head, uh, like this. I put the fan speed to two. Because this paper is white and it's at the lowest uh, rate, it won't uh, burn. Make this spot as small as possible. Oh, this looks fine. Lay the sheet on here. The result, um, it isn't that bad, but it looks great on this side, but there's almost nothing on the other side. I think it's because the focus of the laser wasn't that good, could have been better. Um, yeah, let's see if I can, uh, if I can get it out. Oh, the cracking sound is cool. All right. The result finally is what I would expect. These two are very thin. What makes it kind of cool. Ah. Let's give it to my friend and uh, Yeah, whatever. Hope you have enjoyed watching and if you came up all the way to, to this part then thanks a lot. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you. Bye!